I think I just cracked it. I mean, HPE's end game plan for AI dominance. Hear me out. I don't usually like to speculate too much, but this is just too juicy to be kept between my ears. And before I get into it, let me just state that I do not have any inside information about HPE's roadmap regarding this. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> All of this is just pure speculation from my part. But I do want to speculate because I really, really want HPE to do this. So let's get started. The just announced HPE Private Cloud AI is industry's first truly easy to use turnkey solution for companies' private AI projects. You order a small, medium or large configuration, HP delivers it to your location, you turn it on and start doing your AI stuff. According to HPE, Private Cloud AI is focused on inferencing, rag and fine tuning. Loving it. But if we think about AI projects as a whole, inferencing, rag and fine tuning comes only after training. And training is a whole different ballgame. We need magnitudes more computing power. So for a complete AI dominance, HPE would need to offer AI training one way or another. Of course, HPE could introduce an XXXXL configuration for private cloud AI for training purposes, but I'm not sure if there are enough companies who would be ready to invest in a massive configuration like that just for training the models, which might be a one-time operation. This is where HPE can use their biggest and most unique advantage, Cray supercomputing. So instead of extending private cloud AI with ProLiance, what would make much more sense to me is if HPE would offer their Cray supercomputing capacity for training purposes in an as-a-service manner from a centralized location. This way, companies could bring in their data, drain the model for a few weeks or months, get the ready model and move it to their own HPE private cloud AI for production. However, that would require HPE to set up a public cloud-like supercomputing as a service somehow. Wait. HPE is entering the AI public cloud market. Yep, HPE AI public cloud was advertised to be exactly that. And even if we haven't heard basically anything about that ever since, turns out this project is still very much alive. Or what do you think Antonio Neri is talking about here at the CUBE interview recorded just last June? We actually built the entire generative AI cloud in a data center that we have designed and or picked and we run it. We run it for the customer and they are actually consuming it on a GPU per hour basis. Sounds awfully familiar to me. In addition to Antonio, also Neil McDonald, Executive Vice President of Compute, HPC and AI, shared this at the HPE Discover 2024 pre-briefing. HPE is currently supporting a few customers with GPUs as a service that supports large language models and other AI workloads. This work spans thousands of GPUs we are providing to customers via the cloud. This is currently available to a few select pilot customers whom we are working with to refine this offering. Additional details will be shared later this year. Why neither of them called it HPE AI Public Cloud beats me. But the important thing is, it seems to me that HPE AI Public Cloud or GPUs as service is alive and well. Though Neil McDonald mentioned thousands of GPUs, which doesn't sound too promising. We know that Google, Meta, OpenAI, and XAI are using somewhere around 80 to 100,000 GPUs to train their models. And those resources are dedicated to them, meaning they can use all of these GPUs for their model training only, all the time. So just some few thousands of shared GPUs does not sound much. But then again, Neil McDonald did mention that this is currently available to a few select pilot customers whom we are working with to refine this offering. So maybe, maybe when the pilot is over, they will pump up the GPU count significantly. Also, of course, not all companies need the absolute peak performance with tens of thousands of GPUs for training. And these mid-tier companies are the ones HPU would be best off chasing. Now, 
What I would love to see is HP combining these two offerings as one seamless service, from training to inferencing to rag to fine tuning. So first, training your AI models with the vast gray supercomputing resources of HPE AI Public Cloud, after which moving on-prem to HPE Private Cloud AI for inferencing rag and fine tuning. Brilliant. But we are not done. Now that we have the infrastructure and resources in place, from training to fine-tuning, next we need to manage all this. And this is where the third piece of the HPE puzzle steps in, HPE GreenLake, which has evolved into a sophisticated hybrid cloud platform over the years, capable of managing large environments, both on private and public clouds. What HPE could easily do is just add their own HP AI public cloud as one more public cloud next to AWS and others in HP GreenLake catalog. As HP Private Cloud AI is also tightly integrated and managed with GreenLake, the whole AI project from training to inferencing to rack to fine tuning could be seamlessly managed from one single user interface, HP GreenLake. I've said it before, I instantly loved the idea of HPE AI Public Cloud when I heard it first time at HPE Discover 2023. If it ever sees daylight as portrayed in that keynote, it would be something that no other private or public cloud provider is capable of offering, simply for one reason, Cray. HP Private Cloud AI is also unique on the market for two reasons. First, it is the only co-developed private AI solution with NVIDIA. It's not just a partnership, but co-developed and co-marketed with NVIDIA. And secondly, it is the only real turnkey private AI solution on the market. Not the blueprint, not the reference architecture, but the real product with one single SKU that's deployed in minutes, or apparently 24 seconds. With three clicks in 24 seconds. If HP would go through with this plan, they would blow the competition out of the ocean. I mean private and public cloud competitors. If you look at the market as it is now, no one else is currently able to offer anything like this. And so this would give HPE an absolute AI dominance. But that's not all. In addition, these three AI pillars, HPE is about to get the fourth one. I mean, we cannot forget about Juniper Networks. If this indeed is the plan, Juniper acquisition would make even more sense since all this would require a tremendous amount of robust networking. And Juniper will bring exactly that with their routers, custom ASICs and Mist AI. So HPE has high performance computing and classic industry standard computing well covered with their industry leading Cray and ProLiant lineups. Networking will be in tip top shape with the combined firepower of Aruba and Juniper. Storage is also in a very good shape, thanks to the innovative Alatra MP architecture. The latest Gardner Magic Quadrant for primary storage also reflects this. HP climbed to the second spot overtaking NetApp. However, currently Alatra MP rocks natively block storage only. What HPE is lacking is in-house file and object storage. For this reason, they are partnering up with, for example, Cumulus, Cality and Vast Data. Now, we know that AI loves file and object storage, and having pretty much everything else in a top-notch shape, this is maybe the weakest link in HPE's portfolio at the moment. Again, if I would be to decide, I would have one of these storage companies on my shopping cart already. It would not be the first time HPE buys a partner. I mean, just a few months ago, HPE acquired Morpheus Data, whose technology has been powering GreenLake for years. Anyway, I'm afraid HPE's credit limit is pretty much maxed out with the Juniper purchase, so this plan probably has to be put on hold. Could this be HPE's endgame plan for AI dominance? Or am I just hallucinating a bit too hard this time? What do you think? That is it. I will put my imagination to rest now. Thanks for watching and see you with the next one.